Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't... ...a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the Embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Talk to Gaiman if you want a horse. Or Catla if you're looking for work. I can't help you. Fellow latecomer to Ellenwyn's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this godsforsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Welcome to the Tholmore Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn. The Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me Ambassador, more about I'm yourself. So what you brings you to this... <sighs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the... Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. Well, I did something... Interesting, not long ago. What can I get for you? you what can I get for you, sir? Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Doing something like that with dragons on the loose and a What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? I'm so glad you could attend. I hope you're enjoying yourself, sir. Here you go, sir. Colovian brandy. Very much so, and thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. excellent. It is not the eyes that reveal another's true nature. It is the heart. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles! If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Wonderful! I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our yes, mistress. What are you I doing? speak figuratively, of course. Let's go. Let's go. 
before anyone notices us. Someone would actually want her in their bed. Although, most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy. Wouldn't want to offend our Thalmor overlords, would we? Let me do the talking. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. Is the food and drink to your... Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Remember the last Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. See something interesting not long ago. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. They've been traveling around the whole of Skyrim, peddling their wares. You've got to admire I need to lock the door you behind you, or the like patrol. That. Might Dragon notice something's wrong. Good Did you luck. see those robes You're marching on your own this now. morning? Who are they with? Huh? Come on! <laughs>
I need that money. Is I someone it. there? Where are you? Listen up, Spy. You're We're trapped dead. in here, and we have your accomplice. <laughs> Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. I told you. I don't know anything else. What? Who? What? What do you want then? Yeah, sure. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must... whatever you want. But let's go, now.
Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Hesburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esburn was one of the Blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the Blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh. And when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Sugarcane wine? It's pretty hard to get around. You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap meat? Aye, now that's some fine armor. Good old fashioned steel. Yeah. 
Go away! What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esben. I don't know what you're talking about. Delphine? How do you... So, so you finally found her. And she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. What's that you said? Dragonborn? Then there really is hope after all. You'd better come inside. Quickly now. Down more agents have been seen in the ratway. That's better. Now we can talk. You Dragonborn. Is it really true? Important. Far more than even she realizes. If you are Dragonborn, then, then there is hope, after all. For so long, all I could do was watch our doom approach, helplessly. Dragons, pah! They can be killed. The Blades killed many in their early days as dragon slayers. No, the dragons are merely the final portent of the end of days. Oh, yes. The prophecies make clear the signs that will precede the end times. One by one, I've seen them fulfilled. Alduin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time, who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. You're right, I forget myself. I've lived without hope for so long. The prophecies are clear. Only the Dragonborn can stop Aldrin. We must go, quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. But give me just a moment. Get me mad, and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. 
Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. Delphine. <laughs> Why, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragon Ball. Indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose. We must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh. This is where they built Aldwin's Wall to set down and store all their accumulated dragon lore. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far reaching fame of Aldwin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world. Its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Alduin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blade's archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. I know the area of the reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karth Spire in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately. Attract less attention that way. Don't worry, I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near Karthspire. Good luck. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Uh, well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern.
Stopping. We should be careful here. See these symbols? Mm. Esbern's right. Look like pressure plates. We'll cross once it's safe. Be careful. It's safe now. Let's move. I think we're close to the end. Wonderful. Remarkably well preserved, too. Ah, here's the Blood Seal. Another of the lost Akaviri arts. No doubt it's triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered me with Cyrodiil?
We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. So well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a final example of early second era Kavira sculptural relief. Hesburn, we need information, not a lecture on art history. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. Look, here is Alduin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragon Overlords, the legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is falling from the sky. The Nord Toms, masters of the voice, are arrayed. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, and mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragon. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. So we're looking for a shout, then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? I was afraid you were going to say that. I guess there's nothing for it. We'll have to ask the Greybeards for help. I hope to avoid involving them in this, but we have no other choice. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy. 